Hi students, in my previous video, I have explained about uh, different type of uh, uh, phases of a circular flow of income and uh, intersectoral flow of income in which I explained about real flow and money flow. And uh, in this video, I am going to explain about circular flow of income in different types of economy like in two sector economy or simplest form of economy uh, then uh, close economy with government sector this is also known as three sector economy and another one is open economy with rest of the world okay in all type of economies different sectors will be explained and these sectors are first one household sector which will provide factor services or raw material to whom to producing sector second sector is producing sector which manufacturer uh, which manufacture or produce goods and services for satisfying of desire or wants third one is banking sector or financial sector which provide fund or which uh, provide financial services or banking services then another one is government sector and foreign sector that is rest of world okay first we will take uh, two sector economy first let me explain two sector economy circular flow of income in two sector economy that is simplest type of economy two sector economy is just like the money flow of income okay in two sector economy there are two sectors household sector and producing sector and other than these two sectors one sector banking sector it will remain in two sector economy it will remain uh, in uh, government uh, in closed economy or it also will remain in the rest of the world as it is working as financial market okay so banking sector household sector and producing sector these three sector will always remain there in any kind of economy so first it is a simplest type of economy and here household sector will be there producing sector also there the flow will start from household sector as household sector is the supplier of factors or factors of the production it provide different type of factor services and factor of the production okay these factor services are like laborers land capital interest etc okay in return of providing factor services household sector will receive factor payment factor payment for factor services and uh, uh, in return of labor okay it will receive for the labor it will receive wages for the land and building it will receive rent for capital household sector will receive interest and for entrepreneurship household sector will receive profit okay so we can say that the household sector is providing factor services or factors of production to the producing sector and it receive factor payment in term of wages in term of rent capital and uh, sorry not capital interest and profit okay this all these all terms are known as factor payment so household sector receives factor payment from producing sector okay now household sector is earning income in term of factor payment and after earning income it will spend money over consumption that is expenditure on consumption okay and uh, expenditure jab hoga to uske badle mein it will receive goods and services which are produced by producing sector so this we have explained in term of five uh, household sector agar aap usko producing sector ki term mein explain karenge to producing sector receives raw material or factor services okay from household 
all these terms land labor capital entrepreneurship etc and for hiring all these factor services producing sector gives factor payment to whom to household sector okay and household sector is using all kind of factor services to produce new final goods and services okay and these final goods and services will be uh, it will be sold in the market so as these goods and services are there in the market and it these goods and services are provided by producing sector to whom to a consumer to household sector and household sector if household sector buy goods and services then it will create expenditure over consumption okay this is just like money sector or money flow of the income and uh, other than this this the new thing is banking sector or financial market okay banking sector is also there banking sector receives savings from household and from producing sector both banking sector is receiving what savings and other kind of deposits from all household and producing okay and if household sector or producing sector are uh, uh, these are required money or finance then banking sector also provide borrowing or lend it lend money okay so uh, i am using arrows for showing receiving or giving household sector is giving factor services to producing sector so the arrow is towards household to uh, is from household to producing and here the arrow is from producing to household because household is pro, uh, is receiving factor payment so yahan par aapko dhyan rakhna hai ki arrow ka jo aap arrow use kar rahe hain wo kis taraf hai for example banks banks are receiving savings to so, arrow kis taraf hoga household se बैंक की तरफ प्रोड्यूसिंग से बैंक की तरफ एंड बैंक प्रोवाइड करता है बोरोइंग्स एंड बैंक इज प्रोवाइडिंग मनी इन टर्म ऑफ बोरोइंग्स ओके तो यहाँ पर एरो जो है वो कहाँ से है बैंक से हाउस होल्ड सेक्टर की तरफ बिकॉज बैंक इज प्रोवाइडिंग बोरोइंग्स सो द एरो इज फ्रॉम बैंक टू हाउस होल्ड और एरो इज फ्रॉम बैंक टू प्रोड्यूसिंग ओके कीप दीज थिंग्स इन योर माइंड when you are going to draw the flow chart uh, regarding the circular flow of income in two sector or in any type of economy okay our next term is closed economy a circular flow of income in closed economy in closed economy we are having these sectors household sector producing sector banking sector these three sectors we already have discussed in simplest form of the economy that is two sector economy and other than these sectors one important sector is also there that is government sector okay uh, in the flow of income in between household producing and banking sector it remains same as in the two sector economy okay uh, i don't think so ki that uh, i have to explain it again and again because i have explained uh, explained it uh, in two sector economy but uh, again i am explaining here household sector provide factor services and spend money over expenditure or it spend ex, uh, it spend money over consumption okay to and this term will gives to producing sector in return of factor services or expenditure producing sector will provide factor payment and goods on goods and services to whom to household sector okay and household sector and producing sector both these are uh, dealing with banks for their saving and borrowing okay aapko dhyan rakhna hai arrow ka arrow lagate samay arrow ko aapko kis taraf banana hai household sector agar producing sector ko apni services de raha hai aur expenditure kar raha hai to ye arrow producing sector ki taraf aayega 
after then producing sector is providing factor payment and goods and services to household to ye arrow household ki taraf jayega it will indicating towards household sector okay it indicates towards the household sector it will be indicating to that और ये हमने ऑलरेडी डिस्कस कर लिया था टू सेक्टर इकोनॉमी में द न्यू थिंग इज गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर एंड गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर इज ऑल्सो डीलिंग विद हाउस होल्ड विद प्रोड्यूसिंग एंड विद बैंक हाउस होल्ड सेक्टर इज नॉट ओनली प्रोवाइडिंग इट्स सर्विसेज एंड एक्सपेंडिचर टू प्रोड्यूसिंग बट ऑल्सो इट प्रोवाइड्स सेम थिंग्स टू गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर हाउस होल्ड सेक्टर ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड्स फैक्टर सर्विसेज एंड अदर काइंड ऑफ एक्सपेंडिचर to government for example we are using uh, we, if we are going to any government hospital like aims if you are visiting any kind of hospital if you are visiting any kind of a museum which is uh, uh, like uh, uh, managed by the government okay and you are paying toll tax to un sab ka jo एक रेशो है उन सब ये सब चीज़ें ये सभी टर्म्स जो हैं वो किसके पास में जाती हैं गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर के पास एंड वी ऑल आर पेइंग टैक्सेस एंड अदर काइंड ऑफ फीस एंड पेनल्टीज एंड सम काइंड ऑफ रजिस्ट्रेशन फीस फॉर एग्जांपल यू इफ यू आर गोइंग टू इफ यू आर गोइंग टू आर टी ओ ऑफिस फॉर मेकिंग योर लाइसेंस ओके फॉर योर लाइसेंस फॉर गेटिंग अ लाइसेंस तो फॉर दैट यू आर पेइंग लाइसेंस फीस और रजिस्ट्रेशन फीस for enrolling uh, for the uh, for the getting or for that uh, license तो यहाँ पर आप जो fees देते हो जो penalty देते हो सम टाइम आपका चालान हो जाता है because if you are not following the rules and regulations set by government ठीक है for riding uh, riding a vehicle on the road तो आपको जो चालान होता है आपका जो penalty होती है that penalty is also going to government sector all these are showing the arrow uh, it is indicating the arrow towards the government sector factor services expenditure different kind of taxes fees and penalties or other kind of registration fee also okay ye sare government ki income hai all these are considered as the income for the government sector and government will spend it its income on transfer payment what is transfer transfer payment transfer payment uh, like uh, different kind of facilities which government is providing to a uh, common people without rendering any services for example uh, poor widow is getting widow allowances okay or uh, widow pension okay and uh, an uh, an unemployed person is also getting unemployment allowances so these are called transfer payment transfer payment are those kind of payment which a person or a particular sector is getting for uh, not rendering any services it is just free of cost okay तो ट्रांसफर पेमेंट वो सारे बेसिक फैसिलिटीज हैं जो गवर्नमेंट आपको पे करती है और नॉट फैसिलिटीज इट इज अ पेमेंट इट इज पेमेंट इन कैश ओके ट्रांसफर पेमेंट जो है वो वो पेमेंट है जिनके बदले में आपको कोई काम नहीं करना है है ना एंड अदर देन दीज गवर्नमेंट ऑल्सो स्पेंड मनी ओवर गवर्नमेंट इन टर्म ऑफ एक्सपेंडिचर फॉर एग्जाम्पल हाउस होल्ड सेक्टर से अगर कोई गवर्नमेंट एम्प्लॉय है तो गवर्नमेंट उसको गवर्नमेंट एक्सपेंडिचर के टर्म में क्या दे रही है सैलरी दे रही है, है ना तो सैलरी to household sector it will uh, providing by government sector to household sector to ye bhi kya hoga government ka expenditure hoga but household ki income hogi and same as producing sector is also providing goods and services and other kind of intermediate goods which are using as raw material or which are consuming by the government to ye jo arrow hai ye producing sector se kiski taraf jayega government sector ki taraf After them, government sector को producing sector taxes देता है different kind of penalties देता है तो ये सभी terms जो हैं ये किसके government की income है Okay, producing sector is also paying tax, is also paying registration, is also paying uh, registration fees and other kind of penalties. For example, if any industry is not following the norms set by the government or set by the industrial unit, industrial uh, uh, industries. ओके द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ दैट इंडस्ट्रीज तो उसके ऊपर पेनल्टी लगाई जा सकती है है ना तो एंड द पेनल्टी द विच द प्रोड्यूसिंग सेक्टर इज पेइंग द यूनिट इज पेइंग टू हू गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर इट विल बिकम द इनकम फॉर द गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर एंड गवर्नमेंट इन 
इसके बदले में गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर क्या देगा गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर विल प्रोवाइड डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ सब्सिडीज इकोनॉमिक सब्सिडीज एंड अदर काइंड ऑफ कंसेशन और इट विल स्पेंड गवर्नमेंट एक्सपेंडिचर ओके टू प्रोड्यूसिंग सेक्टर जैसे कि जो भी गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज वो यूज करेगा गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर उसके बदले में एक्सपेंडिचर होगा उसके बदले में उनको पेमेंट किया जाएगा एंड अदर बेसिक फैसिलिटीज ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडेड बाई दी गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर एंड गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर इज ऑल्सो यूजिंग बैंक for savings and for borrowings just like household and uh, industrial sector so i think uh, it is all about aapko uh, clear ho gaya hoga about the closed economy and uh, next that uh, next topic is open economy and in that economy in sare sectors ke alawa one more sector will be there that is rest of the world or foreign sector open economy it is also known as four sector economy in this sector Uh, in this type of economy there are these sectors which are including in the circular flow of income first one is first one is the household sector second is producing sector third is banking fourth government and other is foreign sector or rest of the world okay now we will come to the flow chart and this flow chart is showing the circular flow of income in household producing government and rest of the world including financial sector okay uh the circular flow of income will re will remain same between household and producing and government okay this remains same but open economy is dealing with foreign sector or it is dealing with rest of the world also that's why it is called open the borders or the boundaries of the country is opened for the rest of the world that's why this type of economy is called open economy okay and uh, simply we are considering this that this economy is uh, dealing with the rest of the world it means producing sector is doing export and import with rest of the world and it receiving and it is providing payment it is giving payment in term of uh, money or in term of foreign exchange for exports and imports okay export agar kar rahe hain if the producing sector is doing uh, is uh, dealing with rest of the world in term of export it in that case it will receive foreign payment and if we are uh, dealing in term of imports in that case we have to pay foreign currency or foreign exchange to the rest of the world ye dhyan rakhiyega exports ke liye aapko foreign exchange ya foreign currency receive kiya jayega aapke paas aayega uh, business sector ke andar aayega and import ke liye jo payment hoga wo rest of the world mein jayega and same thing same terms are also for government sector and rest of the world government sector is also dealing with export and import uh, dealing in term of export and import with the rest of the world and it is also receiving and giving payment for exports and imports and other than these governments are also dealing with different kind of government projects some kind of uh, uh, transfer payment it is receiving for example when uh, uh, i think uh, आप लोगों को याद होगा वेन नेपाल नेपाल के अंदर जब अर्थ क्वेक आया था इट एंड दैट इन दैट केस इंडियन गवर्नमेंट डिक्लेयर्ड आई थिंक हंड्रेड्स ऑफ करोड़ रुपीस इन टर्म ऑफ ट्रांसफर पेमेंट ओके जो कि इंडियन गवर्नमेंट ने पे किया था इंडियन गवर्नमेंट पेड हंड्रेड्स ऑफ करोड़ रुपीज इन टर्म ऑफ ट्रांसफर पेमेंट टू द नेपाल ठीक है तो उसके बदले में इंडियन गवर्नमेंट को कोई उसके बदले में कोई असेट वगैरह या और कोई किसी तरह का डील नहीं किया था ये एक फाइनेंशियल हेल्प थी दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड ट्रांसफर पेमेंट तो वो ट्रांसफर पेमेंट भी रेस्ट ऑफ वर्ल्ड के साथ में डीलिंग में इन्वॉल्व होता है ओके एंड इफ वी आर रिसीविंग 
other kind of transfer payment for example in this co uh, in this uh, uh, crucial time uh, fighting with corona or covid 19 if we are receiving fund from the uh, world bank in that case we are receiving transfer payment from rest of the world from the world bank okay so this is the concept of circular flow of income in open economy uh, i think all the terms or this the concept is cleared and if you are having uh, having any doubt you can ask hi students in my previous video i have explained about uh, different type of uh, uh, phases of a circular flow of income and uh, intersectoral flow of income in which I explained about real flow and money flow and uh, in this video I am going to explain about circular flow of income in different types of economy like in two sector economy or simplest form of economy uh, then uh, close economy with government sector this is also known as three sector economy and another one is open economy with rest of the world okay in all type of economies different sectors will be explained and these sectors are first one household sector which will provide factor services or raw material to whom to producing sector second sector is producing sector which manufacturer uh, which manufacture or produce goods and services for satisfying of desire or wants third one is banking sector or financial sector which provide fund or which uh, provide financial services or banking services then another one is government sector and foreign sector that is rest of world okay first we will take uh, two sector economy 